Devin asks, how crucial do you think an app's launch is? Product hunt? That's a really good question. Again, a layered question. Uh, I Ultimately, I think if you make a great product, the answer is not that much. My Snapchat's launch was non-existent. There was no freaking Snapchat launch party. There was no like big to do. You know, like, like you know, Instagram, because Systrom was in the ecosystem, he did get the Kevin Roses and the Ferrises and things of that nature, but you know, and that was just in a small pie because the tech space is so small. I would argue stunningly little. I think we've seen a ton of people have the big party, the big hype, you know, like we're gonna do it. Look at Tidal, even with its recent success with some exclusives, I'm not bullish on that in the long term. Um, I mean, they, you know, they had Madonna and Hove and everybody's there and like so, I think way too many people overpromise and under deliver. Um, I think way too many people try to sell on the sizzle and not the steak. And I would say net net, if we look at you know, Uber, I was there. There's no, there no big launch. It just worked right away. I think if we look at the top 150 apps, you know, like no musically, like what was the launch for music, like right? Like so, I, I would actually argue that most of the apps that are successful um, didn't have some big launch. Um, early momentum is good, um, but we've seen early momentum fade very quickly. Um, I, I think your thesis of your business has to matter. I think at the end of the day, this is absolutely tortoise and hare. Um, and I think the turtle wins every time. And so um, I think that, uh, I think it has a lot to do with ego and it feels really good in that first year and you're a founder and you're cool and you're hot and you might be on the cover of a magazine and being featured on TechCrunch. But I, I just don't think it's how you start, I think it's how you finish. And, and very honestly, I would tell you that most of my confidence and most of this it thing that you guys feel and most of this swag or whatever the hell you wanna call it comes from me knowing what's gonna happen when I'm 70, not what's happening right now.